Welcome to our podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore what makes someone a psychopath and the brain issues behind it. The brains of psychopaths are different from a normal person, a study has found. Certain specifications in their brain are not the same as most people, and this could be a contributing factor in making them psychopaths. People diagnosed with the conditions are often known to exhibit violent behavior that can sometimes border on the extreme. Psychopaths are not always apparent to the world. Such people can have sudden outbursts. Sometimes their behavior can prove to be harmful to others. Researchers from German and American universities used the Julich Brain Atlas to identify specific brain structures in such people to understand their link with antisocial behavior. They identified distinct neural networks pointing at structural brain differences in psychopaths. The study was carried out by scientists from Forschungszentrum Jülich, RWTH Aachen University, Heinrich Heine University Düsseldorf, Georg August University, and the University of Pennsylvania on 39 men diagnosed with psychopathy. The researchers analyzed their structural MRI scans and compared them to a control group with matching key characteristics. They used the psychopathy checklist tool to look at two primary components, interpersonal affective traits, factor one, and lifestyle antisocial behavior, factor two. Individuals with higher scores on factor two are known to have antisocial tendencies. The study found that such people had reduced volumes in several brain regions, like the basal ganglia, thalamus, and basal forebrain, along with a similar occurrence in parts of the brainstem, pons, cerebellum, and cortical regions. All these brain regions are responsible for helping a person regulate their emotions, impulse control, and social behavior. Factor 1 traits, such as pathological lying and lack of empathy, had weaker associations. When the two groups were compared, a significant reduction in total brain volume was noted in the psychopathy group. The major difference in volume was seen in the right subiculum, a part of the hippocampus involved in memory. Scientists concluded that there was a strong neurobiological link between antisocial behavior and reduced brain volume across widespread regions. The latest research builds on the neuropsychobiological correlates of aggression. A more in-depth study of the same will be carried out by the universities at Heidelberg and Frankfurt next year. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.